Hello, potatoes, and welcome back to another episode on Potato Craft. In this episode, what I am planning on doing is... Well, I'm actually not sure. I think this episode, we will try and build a super smelter. I did go into a single player world and design one myself. So, I mean, let's see if we can build it on the Potato Craft server. Okay, the mic was really bad for my entire building of the super smelter. So I'm just gonna put it all into the time lapse. I enjoy the music. done now I will be going AFK fishing and I am back on the server my AFK fishing session completely failed I got absolutely nothing our super spelter completed all the fish I'll keep one the, the fish is what I'm gonna live off of cuz I mean very, very nutritious and we have so much of it <laughs> but anyway I think the next thing I want to do this episode but I'm probably not going to complete it is I want to make some sort of clearing in the water over here. I don't know if we're going to integrate it with the base or something. I just want some sort of nice thing over here. I have no idea what I'm thinking of doing, but let's go! Before we get started on that, our entire sugarcane farm storage is full. I'm going to be rich after I sell all of this. Wow. $6,000. Are we on Belltop? Are, are we on Belltop? We're not- what? Bell- Belltop is too hard to be on, okay? I can't do it, guys! And we have a bit of an outline now for the space I want to clear. I- I- I still don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Also, if I have enough levels, I think I might add this book with looting to my sword. We don't have an anvil. I'll make one. Anvil completed. Now if we just place this right in right there, and we'll add this to our sword. That's a pretty good sword. Wow. And it seems we have a pretty good shovel in our chest. I'm going to go out sand mining somewhere. I gotta find a desert. Alright, I settled for this huge beach place that actually has a ton of sand on it. Just gonna go through here and wipe out all the sand. Sand absolutely obliterated. Get out of here, sand. We have so many stacks, and our shovel took, like, no, no, no hits. What? I don't know if there's a better way to do this, but I'm just going along placing the sand one by one. And I like it. It's fine. And just like that... All of our sand has been placed. All of it. We've made it this far. That's it. We need we need to find a desert. I've been successfully distracted by these baby llamas. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. I I, I think we should continue now. I'm finding all sorts of weird stuff. Like like what is this cave? 
I just want to find a desert and I'm finding all this stuff. I've found a mesa biome. Are you serious? I just want to find a normal desert. Actually, maybe. Maybe I could use this red sand. Sand has been wiped. We only got this much. We need more. Okay, wait a minute. Is this an actual desert over here? There are cacti. I don't know. Sand obliterated. All right. I think we need more than this even. I will obliterate more sand. And that concludes an entire inventory of sand. Actually, we can get more. Now that concludes one inventory of sand. If this isn't enough, I don't know what is. That concludes the entire outside of the filling in. Still need to do the entire inside. We have a lot of sand though. And after all that work, that concludes two rings around two block thick wall. This is gonna be a long project. We don't actually have that much more sand. And this is our last piece of sand. We made it this far with all of that sand that we got. Come on. All right, it seems as if my Elytra is about to break. And I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really wanna do much else for today. I'm gonna leave this here for now and hopefully gather more sand and finish it in the near future. So until then, I will AFK fish. Be right back. And we are back. My game happened to crash, but I mean, very unsuccessful fishing session. Wow. Anyway, despite that terrible fishing session, Light and I have been working together off camera for about a week, maybe two, to build an XP farm for Enderman in the nether. And it is so efficient. If I just go here... Look at this thing! The Endermen are just piling in. It took so long to get the Endermite up there so the Endermen like run toward it, but I mean... This thing gives you so much XP. It's almost overpowered. Look at all this. I can't even comprehend. And that gets us 30 bars. That was as easy as pie and we got so many ender pearls too. Wait a minute, I just realized. Can we sell these ender pearls? All right, if we just warp shop. Yes, there are ender pearls. What do we get for one full inventory? And we are out, we have Fourteen thousand dollars now. That is so effective. I think with all the money that we got from that, I might get a mending book for my sword. So now, all right, so if we just add mending to the sword. Now it will never die as long as we go to the XP farm every once in a while. All right, let's just repair my sword real quick by killing all of these Endermen right here in one hit. Sword repaired, 32 levels, and a heck ton more Ender Pearls that we can sell. This thing is OP. And we sold all of them. Oh, I did spend 2,000 on a mending book. We got like $2,000. This thing is too good. I should just buy three more mending books and then add it to the armor that I have. Mending helmet, mending pants, and mending boots. I mean, the other enchantments aren't the greatest, but we'll improve those over time. Now to go back and repair all of our armor. And armor and sword fully repaired in a span of seconds. This is the most amazing thing that has ever happened. 
Alright, since we're getting all this XP that I don't know what to do with, I think I'm gonna go and enchant some books. Should I just go for one level 30 enchantment? Or for a couple, like, level 10 enchantments or whatever? Or 30 level 1 enchantments? I really don't know. I think I'm just gonna go for it with the level 30. Here we go. Level 30! And, oh, we're getting protection three and, oh, come on, book. Can't do better than that. Do we, If we choose a different book, does it change, maybe? No, I think it, oh, it's always the same thing if we use, okay. Whatever, I'll just go for the protection three and whatever else. What is it? Literally just one protection three book. Are, are you kidding? All our armor has protection three. Can you put protection on an Elytra? No, you can't. Okay, that makes sense. Ah. Uh, that was completely useless. Let's try again. Wait, why do we still have 27 levels? That's my... Wait, what? I'm confused. More XP for me. And what do we get? Fire protection. Okay, that's that's pretty lame. Wait a minute, it only says three enchantment levels? It only takes three of my levels? That's weird. Okay, what is it? We just get fire protection three. How do I use this? Oh, I think you need 30 levels to do it, but uh, you only use three levels. I think that's what that means. So... Uh, Let's just go to the Enderman farm and get as many as we can. I have 30 levels. Does that- or 33 levels. Does that mean that I can do two level 30 enchantments? I think it does. This one was three in a row. Sharpness, punch, and knockback. Not bad, but pretty bad. Unbreaking three, maybe something good? Okay, just unbreaking three. My boots and my helmet need unbreaking three. I think I might actually go with my helmet. I just find it so funny watching the Enderman just walk up right into the hole. I don't know, it just looks great. Alright, I have 36 levels again. Let's enchant some more books. Feather falling four on this one. That's going on my boots. Efficiency 4, smite 4. I have efficiency 5 on that. So maybe efficiency 4 for one of my other tools. And depth strider 3 for my boots. My boots are getting an upgrade today. Oh, I need 21 for depth strider 3. Alright, alright. I can do that. Heck, I could do this all day. Look at that. Protection 3, depth strider 3, feather falling 4, mending. All we really need is unbreaking and maybe a better protection on that. And we'll have amazing boots. Let's just take all the ender pearls we got from that huge session and sell them. Oh, and I forgot that I learned the new technique where you just shift double click and all the things go into your inventory. That That's just the best. I don't know why I've never known that before. And this should be all of the ender pearls that we got from that, what, like 10 minute session? We have 16,000, are we on belt? We better be on belt top. <laughs> we are on belt top, ladies and gentlemen. All right, well now we have the best armor ever, like literally ever, and we have a working, c completely functioning super smelter in the back of our base, along with a functioning Enderman farm. One, one Enderman farm. I, I did that off camera. I mean, it's not gonna, really gonna be part of the video, but I, it was really fun building it. I should have put it on camera. I feel bad about myself now, but thank you all so much for watching. If you did like it, be sure to leave a like on the video, and if you hated it, be sure to leave a dislike. Just kidding. Don't leave a dislike, please. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. I actually don't know what we're gonna do next on the Tailcraft server. We'll figure that out next episode. Goodbye.